I'm in love with fishing and fishing's what I do. And if you wanna try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day or at night. It don't really matter, I just wanna get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your phone and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. This is your girl Linda with the life of a fisherman wife with the guy she always does it with her fishing is. He has caught his uh, what is that? Um, lake perch. We've been catching these all weekend. I can't even remember the name. Is that a keeper? Or are you gonna toss yeah, them back? He's kind of small, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's kind of small. So let him go. Bye, buddy. Don't tell your friends. <laughs> okay, he's going to give it another cast out. And we're going to see what we're going to get. You all, that's all we, be, we have been catching all weekend is just lake perch. That's all that, well, that, that isn't what's all that's in here. But that's all we have been catching. I have been seeing people bring out northern pike. Is that what it is, hon? Mm -hmm. What is the other one? Walleye. Maybe it was a walleye that I saw. What color was it? Brown or green? Don't start me. He was bleeding all I know. Uh, <laughs> well, the only, only thing I caught uh, on this trip was uh, perch and bass. Yeah, that's the only thing that we have been catching is perch and bass. But I have seen some northern come out. Uh, I thought I saw one walleye, but I wasn't sure. No, oh, okay. It ways away from me. Okay. Well, we'll see what today bring you guys. We got company out. I love seeing uh, things like that. Dad got son out. And then over here, we have another family beside us. I love seeing um, families out fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nicer one. Yeah. That Tonson, boy, they loving this Tonson and uh, they loving this Tonson jig uh, with the tip with a wax worm. Look how they knocked all the paint off there. It was gold. Now it's uh, it's getting more silver, silver lead color. Yep, all the gold is almost off that. Yeah, that's a grass fish. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I did something different. Got another jig. This is a floating jig. Um. I tipped it with that uh, roses. I moved down to a spot where it's a lot more weedier and it kept getting hung up. So what I did was uh, put me a, like a drop shot line on there and put this floating jig on there. And I got this one here with uh, with this little floating jig and rosy combo. All right, you missing it, Linda? All right, guys, I'm still catching them with this uh, floating jig and that rosy. That's a good one right there. All right, we'll see. Getting close to my limit again. Linda, you're missing the fun again. The sun is coming out. You better come back and catch you some. Got you another one, huh? Yep. On that floating jig and that red rosy. That seemed to be working good today. Guys, just because something worked yesterday, don't mean it's gonna work today, so. I've been trying a, a lot of different techniques. Uh, this floating jig with a, 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 a rosy red. I even caught some on a, a fathead crappie melon today. So they just they just biting slow, but they biting a variety of things. So we keep working at them. It has cleared up, guys. The sun is trying to come out. The sky is blue again. I went to the truck because it was cold and it looked like you know he did a little something something while I was gone. Just a little bit of something something. Huh? Oh yeah, I got a few. Yeah. I almost got the limit. 
I almost got his limit. Oh. Maybe since the sun is out, maybe they're turning on again. Not sure, but you know, I'm back out here because it's warmer. So we're gonna see what we can get. Guys, he got another one. I don't know how much longer we're gonna do this. It's almost five o'clock. We've been out here for quite some time. Um, so yeah. So we got we got a pretty good mess in there. So we're gonna see um, how much longer we're gonna be out here. He said we need six more. You need me to move that? Another keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's a he's a walk on top of the water. He's a walk on top of the he is a walk on top of the water. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Hung under his keel plate. Yeah. That's why he wanted to give up the fight. He bigger than some of the ones you've been catching. You, you, your eyes are tangled. My eyes are tangled. Uh, all, right. all right, you need to click him so we won't get I no ticket. I know, honey. I think he has another one. He does. He got another one. Another nice on one. The, uh, right there. The fat head silver middle? Yeah, fat head crappy middle. Okay, well they, well, they weren't biting them yesterday. I guess oh, it's a new day, new dawn, and new delight. Boy, this floating jig ain't been doing good, man. It's, it's out beating everything I used yesterday. The floating jig, you say? Yeah. Where you get that from? You remember? Uh, I can't remember. Walmart, I think Walmart. Okay. Were they expensive? They come, uh, they come in a two pack. I think you get two for like two bucks or two fifty or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and not bad. You can see uh, this the weight hold it on the bottom, and that that hook floats up off the bottom by six inches. The shorter you tie it, the closer it is to the bottom. So you can see, like if this is on the bottom right here, you'll see that float. It floats like that. So if this was on the bottom. It floats up above the, the jig. You see that? They are weight. And the middle is on there dancing around and they just come up and hit it. Yep. Okay. Thank you for explaining. Yep. You need me to move that? Another keeper. Yep. Yep. Guys, this is the end of our fishing trip. This is what we came out with. Uh, we got some very nice size um, lake perch. If you can see, we got our limit. So fishing and We're out of here, y'all. We're out of here. We, ha we have had fun on this little uh, weekend getaway. Oh, yeah. It's been very nice. Fishing Ed, I think he's happy. Yeah, I'm tired too. That's a, that's a tall hill to climb, y'all. It, it is. Was fun. And I keep saying that we're in uh, La Crosse, but we're actually in Genoa. That's like 15 minutes uh, south of La Crosse. Yeah. So, but we're tired. We've been out here all day. So uh, we're going to go find us something to eat. And we're going to ask you all to make today better than tomorrow. And uh, God bless and good fish. Peace. peace. We're out of here, y'all. Now that fishing's over, sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, but I just had to let him go. Yes, he was a nice one. He was the biggest of the day. So felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again. This I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Sure I'm glad you fished with me, yes it was really nice Maybe we can go again to the life of a fisherman's wife Until next time
God bless and good fishing. Peace.